हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई ई लर्निंग सेशन ऑफ स्टार्ट इन कंट्रोल ऑफ एन इंडक्शन मोटर विच इज़ अ टॉपिक ऑफ बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्टार्टिंग ऑफ एन इंडक्शन मोटर द थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर्स आर सेल्फ स्टार्टिंग ड्यू टू रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बट द मोटर्स शो टेंडेंसी टू ड्रॉ वेरी हाई करंट एट द टाइम ऑफ स्टार्टिंग such a current can be 5 of 8 times the rated current and can damage the motor winding hence there should be certain device which can limit such high starting current such a device which limit the high starting current is called the starter the purpose of a starter is not to just start the motor but it performs the two main functions they are to reduce the heavy starting current and to provide the overload and under voltage protection the three phase induction motors may be started by connecting the motor directly to the full voltage of supply the torque of induction motor is proportional to the square of the applied voltage so a greater torque is exerted by a motor when it is started on full voltage than when it is started on the reduced voltage there are main three methods of starting of an induction motor first is direct online starter second is star delta starter and third one is auto transformer starter first is direct online starter in case of small capacity motors having rating less than 5 hp the starting current is not very high and such motors can withstand such starting current without any starter so there is no need to reduce applied voltage to control the starting current such motors use a type of starter which is used to connect starter directly to the supply lines without any reduction in voltage hence the starter is known as direct online starter the direct online starter method figure is shown in below it consists a coil operated connector c controlled by a start and stop push button as shown in figure the s1 connect is normally open and s2 is normally closed at start s1 is pushed for fraction of second second due to which coil gets an energized and attract the contractor so starter directly get supply the additional contact provided ensure that as long as supply is on the coil get supply and keeps contactor in own position when as to is pressed the coil circuit gets open due to which coil gets deenergized and motor gets switch off from the supply the theory of direct online starting of induction motor let us consider that ist is a starting current ifl is the full load current drawn from the supply means per phase tau tst is starting torque and s full is the slip at full load as we know that the co copper losses equals to slip into rotor input because here we have three phase induction motor that's why uh, we have 3 into i2 square into r2 is equals to slip s into 2 pi ns into torque e this is equation number 1 by the equation number 1 we can also find the value of te so torque e is equals to 3 into i2 square into r2 upon 2 pi ns into s this is equation number 2 now at the starting time as we know that slip is equals to 1 i2 is equals to i2 start and torque e is equals to torque starting so by putting these values we get t starting or torque starting is equals to 3 i2 starting square into r2 upon 2 pi ns into 1 this is equation number 1 and at the full load condition as we know that slip is equals to full load slip i2 is equals to i2 full and torque is equals to torque full so we get the equation number 4 so 
by dividing the both equation number 3 and 4 we get torque E starting upon E full is equals to I2 starting upon I2 full the whole square into S full this is equation number 5 if the no load current is neglected the I starting into effective starter turns is equals to I2 starting into effective rotor turns this is equation number six and also we know that i full into effective starter turns is equals to i2 full into effective rotor turns this is equation number seven so equating the equation number six and seven we get i starting upon i full is equals to i2 starting upon i2 full this is equation number eight and the from the equation number five and equation number eight we get T starting upon T full is equals to I starting upon I full the whole square into S full. This is equation number 9. Now, if V1 is a starter voltage per phase equivalent and Z E10 is the standstill impedance per phase of the motor referred to the starter, then the current at the starting is given by the equation I starting is equals to V1 upon Z E10 is equals to ISC. The starting current is equal to the short circuit current. By combining the equation numbers 9 and equation number 10, we get the equation number 11. So, direct online starter method is the cheapest and simplest method of starting the induction motor. Now, secondly, we will discuss about the star delta starter. This is the cheapest starter of all and hence used very commonly for the induction motors. It uses triple pole double throat that is TPDT switch. The switch connects the starter winding star at start, hence per phase voltage gets reduced by the factor 1 upon root 3. Due to this redu reduced voltage, the starting current is limited. When the switch is thrown on other side, the windings get connected in delta across the supply. So, it gets normal rated voltage. The windings are connected in delta when motor gathers sufficient speed. Now, this is the arrangement of star delta starter. The operation of switch can be automatic by using relay which ensure that the motor will not start with the switch in run position. The cheapest of all the maintenance free operations are the two important advantages of this starter. When the switch as is in the start position, the starter windings are connected as shown given in figure. The firstly starter winding is connected in star combination and then it is connected in delta combination. So, this is the delta combination winding. When the motor picks up speed about the 80% of its rated speed, the switch as is immediately put into the run position. And as the result, a starter winding which was in the st star connection earlier uh, converted into the delta connection now. So, the delta connection of a star winding is shown in this figure. Next type of starter method is auto transformer starter. A three phase star connected auto transformer can be used to reduce the voltage applied to the starter. Such a starter is called an auto transformer starter. In this method, the starting current is limited by using a three phase auto transformer to reduce the initial starter applied voltage. This is the systematic diagram of auto transformer starter. It consists of a suitable change over switch. When the switch is in the start position, the starter winding is supplied with the reduced voltage. This can be controlled by tapping provided with auto transformer. Now, this figure A shows the condition when the motor is directly switched on to the line and the figure B shows when the motor is started with the help of auto transformer. 
when motor gets 80% of normal speed the change over switch is thrown into the run position due to this rated voltage gets applied starter winding the motor start rotating with normal speed and changing of switch is done automatically by using relays the power loss is much less in this type of starting it can be used for both star and delta connected motors but it is expensive than the starter resistance starter thank you everyone for watching my video